Welcome to our lecture online. In this series of videos, we're going to use our technique that we just learned, the factoring technique, to solve quadratic equations as they appear in word problems, so specific to word problems. And you'll see that this technique is very handy. So here we go. Our first one says that we're looking for a number, find every number. Well, it could be more than one because it says find every number such that the square of the number is equal to the difference of 48 and twice the number. All right, so we're looking for at least one number, probably more than one number. And so let's say that let x equal that unknown number. So okay, now, since we're looking for more than one number, probably, let's put an s behind it. Okay, now, it tells us, let's see, we need to come up with an equation, so we're going to try to figure out what that equation is. It says that the square of the number, so x squared, is equal to, so here we go, we have x squared is equal to the difference. Now, the difference means we're going to subtract two things, 48 and twice the number. So that means 48 minus 2 times the number, which would be 2 times x. So here, that's what they're telling us, that the square of the number, x squared, is equal to the difference between 48 and twice the number. Now we have to solve that for x, and since it's a quadratic equation, we probably will find two solutions. So let's put everything over on one side. Get x squared plus 2x minus 48 equal to 0. And notice we can probably factor that. So that means we're going to have two binomials multiplied together equals 0. For the first term, we need an x and an x. For the signs, notice we have a negative here and a positive there. That means we have one positive and one negative number, plus and minus such that the sum is 2 and the product is 48. That means they must differ by 2. And so 6 and 8, that differs by 2. When I multiply, I get 48. And the bigger one should be positive. So a positive 8 and a negative 6. 8 times 6 is 48, negative 48 because the negative. And 8 plus or minus 6 gives us a plus 2. So that looks like the correct number. Now, since I have two binomials multiplied together that give me 0, that means that either x plus 8 equals 0 or x minus 6 equals 0, which means the two solutions are x equals negative 8 or x equals a positive 6. And those are the two numbers that if you square them, that will equal 48 minus twice the number. And that is how it's done.